body in the flesh. Kay, it's really you. Hey, what is he doing? Kay, it's me, Gerda, your best friend. Stop it. Guys, that's not Kay. I mean, it is, but he's not himself. He must be under the Snow Queen spell or something. We have to see. Hi kids, I'm Miss Booksy and this is story time. Today we're reading The Snow Queen, chapter six. Here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. The little robber girl had just challenged Gerda to a sword fight. Sword fight? A play sword fight. But you actually have a sword. That makes it pretty real in my book. Fine, we won't play. It's time for dinner anyway. Come and get it, everybody. Come and get your slop. Mmm, looks delicious. You must give me the recipe. Oh, it's not for you. There are pellets in your cage. Pellets, yum. Probably better than slop. Eat up, girl. You know, I'm really not hungry. Maybe I should get going. We, we should get going. Oh, no, you don't. You're my new best friend. You stay here with me. But I have to rescue my friend, Kay. It's very important. Kay will be fine. Forget Kay. Sit. Eat. Oh, no. I hope they'll be OK. Later, after their dinner of slop, the robber girl showed Gerda her room. Wow, you have a lot of birds. I love birds. That's why I was so excited to find you and your parrot. Toucan! Whatever. I don't want to. Fine. Why do they all have little strings tied to their legs? Because I don't want them to fly away, obviously. But why do you trap your creatures and make them stay? I told you. I get very lonely out here. These are the only friends I ever had until you came along. Now, let's go to sleep. You sleep with your sword? Always. Gerda lay down near the robber girl, making sure that she was far enough away from her sharp sword, of course. The girl went to sleep immediately, but Gerda couldn't sleep. She was too worried about Kay. How would she ever rescue him if she was also trapped? Hey, girl. Me? Yeah, you. I saw your body, Kay. You did? When? Shh. A few days ago. I just got tied up here yesterday. Where is he? He was with the Snow Queen at her palace. How do you know it was him? I heard the Snow Queen call him by name. Did she seem very mean? Oh, yes. She's very wicked. Poor Kay. Oh, I miss him so much. How are they ever going to get out of this one? I just want to find him and save him. He was my best friend in the whole world. Be quiet. You wait, the girl. But the robber girl was not sleeping at all. She had heard everything. She wanted a friend more than anything in the world, but she knew she couldn't keep Gerda from Kay. She had to help. The next morning, very early, so early the sun wasn't even awake, the robber girl woke Gerda. Hey. What time is it? Time to get you to your friends, Kay. Huh? Come on. You're letting us go? I want to be your friend, and I want you to stay here forever. But for some reason, I want to help you. Weird, right? Not weird at all. That's what a real friend would do. Really? Yes. Thank you, friend. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Now you be careful. Don't run too fast and drop my friend. Giddy up. The reindeer didn't have to be told twice. He took off for Glacier, prancing and leaping with joy. Woohoo! Let's go get Kay! Wait for me! What do you think is gonna happen next? Let's go on another adventure! Come on! Chapter 7, here we go! Wiggle, snap, story time! Gerda, Toucan, and the reindeer had traveled all day through snow and ice and still no sign of Glacier. We've been walking forever. Doesn't this thing go any faster? Why don't you fly? <laughs> My wings got tired. Hey, reindeer, can you talk? Hello? Hmm? Oh, yes, but my name isn't Reindeer, it's Clyde. Oh, hi, Clyde. Pleased to be officially introduced. <laughs> Clyde, are you sure we're going the right way? Yes, I'm sure. At least I think I'm sure. You think you're sure. He 
spent the last couple years in captivity. Give him a break, Toucan. Why don't you fly up and check out the bird's eye view? Great idea, Clyde. Toucan, can you do that? I liked it better when you didn't talk. So, Clyde, tell me about Glacier. Oh, it's the most beautiful place in the world. Wow, that is so cool. Have you been to Florida, though? I think that's the most beautiful place. Not really my scene, but I have some cousins who go there every year for Christmas. Christmas. Wait a second. Do you know Santa's reindeer? Yeah, Donna and Blitzen and I go way back. Oh, so can you fly or what? Good question. I never tried. What? I know for a fact that humans can't fly, and that didn't stop me from trying. I'm fly! Ow. That's how I broke my arm. See? You can still see the scar. <laughs> wow. I know. So anyways, you should totally try to fly. Okay, maybe you should hop off first. Good thinking. <laughs> okay, just run really fast and then leap. <laughs> oh! Ow! Sorry, totally my bad on that one. What happened here? I tried to fly. Oh boy. Stick to what you know, Clyde. I think maybe Santa's reindeer eats some magic oats or something like that. <laughs> or maybe it's like Peter Pan and you gotta think happy thoughts. Or maybe you just gotta believe in yourself. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, you see anything up there, Toucan? Yeah, I saw a palace just outside the forest. That way. Great, let's go, gang. Wow, this is so fun. When Gerda and her friends stepped out of the woods, they stopped stunned. The palace was huge and sparkly, as if it were covered in a million diamonds. Trees were covered in shimmering icicles, and ice sculptures of animals dotted the land for as far as the eye could see. These are amazing. They look so real. Told you this place was pretty. It is, but we have work to do, people. Or, er, uh, animals. <laughs> Let's go find Kay. Kay? Hello? Are you there? Kay? Kay! And suddenly, there he was in the distance, Kay in the flesh! Kay, it's really you! Wait, what is he doing? Kay, it's me, Gerda, your best friend! Stop it! Why is your friend trying to shoot us with frozen arrows? Yeah, that's not very friendly. Guys, that's not Kay. I mean, it is, but he's not himself. He must be under the Snow Queen spell or something. We have to save him. Uh-oh, she better watch out. Wait, I think I might know how to break the spell. You do? There's an old story about the Snow Queen that I heard as a youngster. Yeah? And I don't know if it's true or just one of those myths. Yeah? But legend has it, that to break the Snow Queen's spell over someone... Spit it out, Clyde! You have to give them a kiss. A kiss? No way! Not you, Toucan. Gerda. Oh, right. Okay, problem. Kay is, um, trying to shoot me with arrows, so how would I get close enough to even give him a kiss? I think we'll just have to run as fast as we can and dodge the arrows. We? Gerda helped both of us to freedom we owe her. Yeah, you're right. We got you, Gerda. Thanks. You guys ready? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Hello. Snow Queen. That's right, kids. The Snow Queen. What do you think is going to happen next? Let's go on another adventure. Come on. Chapter 8, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Snow Queen was beautiful. In fact, she looked just like Gerda had dreamed, shimmering from head to toe. She certainly didn't look evil. You're the most sparkly lady I ever saw. Thank you. May I give you a little kiss? The Snow Queen leaned in and was just about to give Toucan a little peck on the head when Gerda remembered her dream. No, Toucan, that's how she freezes you. Oh, that's so not cool. Oh, did I do that? Silly me. <gasps> Wait, are all these ice sculptures real? Animals? Of course. Aren't they lovely? You are evil, and I know you took my friend Kay. But we're here to save him. Save him? But Kay loves it here. Impossible. You're an evil queen, and you brainwashed him. I'll show you. Kay, come here. Yes, my queen. 
Kay, would you tell this girl that you're happy here? Kay, no! You like the beach and the sun and hanging out with me, don't you remember? I'm very happy here. See, he's the Snow Prince. And you can be the Snow Princess if you like. No way! Then you can be my prisoner. Hey! Gerda! You want some too, reindeer? It's Clyde. Come on, Snow Prince. Let's go. Well, I guess being free for a day was pretty cool. Don't talk like that, Clyde. We're gonna bust out. You'll be free again. We'll save the toucan and I'll rescue Kay. You'll see. But how, Gerda? Did I mention I was a Girl Scout? I don't even know what that means. It means that I can save us. OMG. I love it. Oh, cool. Wait, I don't get it. What does that do? Conjure up some kind of magic? Pretty much. Fire melts ice. It's kind of like magic. Let's go. Safety first. Gerda and Clyde found Kay alone, shivering and looking miserable. He was almost blue from the cold. Kay? Do the kiss thing. Don't rush me. This is a big step in our relationship. How's my breath? You're just saving his life, remember? Not getting married. Yeah, yeah. Gerda? Kay! Oh, you're back! What happened? You were captured by the evil Snow Queen. She froze your heart, but I saved you. Really? How? Uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> you got a little something on your face there. yoo -hoo. Snow Prince. Where are you? Ah, Snow Queen, let's go! Wait, we gotta get Toucan! What happened? You got frozen! But don't worry, we're going home. Florida, baby! Woohoo! Yay, I'm so happy! Wait, did you save me with a kiss, too? Don't worry about it. Ooh! Kay and Gerda sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. Hush up, Toucan. We gotta go save the rest of these animals. Thank you. Thank you. Now we can go. Guys, hop on. One, two, three, blast off. Whoa, you're doing it, Clyde. You're flying. How about that? I am! I knew you could! Good timing, by the way. Snow Prince, where are you going? Get back here! No way! Yeah, see you never! Hooray, they beat the bad guy! Kay and Gerda were so happy to be home again, back in warm, sunny Florida, far, far away from the frozen land of the evil Snow Queen. Clyde stayed for a quick visit, swam in the ocean, had some ice cream, but he got homesick and returned to the north. Toucan, on the other hand, was right at home. So, what do you guys want to do next? Build a sand castle? Go to Disney World? Go windsurfing? Maybe some alligator wrestling? What a great story. Thanks for coming to Storytime. See you next time. Bye!